क्वेश्चन इलेवन से इज दैट ए बी सी एंड ए डी सी आर टू राइट ट्राइंगल्स विथ कॉमन हाइपोटन्यूज ए सी प्रूव दैट एंगल सी ए डी इज इक्वल टू एंगल सी बी डी सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू प्रूव इन क्वेश्चन इलेवन नाउ हेयर इज अ फिगर दैट आर ड्रॉन फॉर दिस प्रॉब्लम यू कैन सी दैट ए बी सी एंड ए डी सी इन दिस फिगर आर राइट एंगल्ड ट्राइंगल्स दे आर राइट एंगल्ड एट बी एंड डी रिस्पेक्टिवली एंड दे हैव अ कॉमन हाइपोटन्यूज ए सी आई ऑल्सो ज्वाइंड बी एंड डी यूजिंग दिस डॉटेड लाइन दैट यू सी एंड वी हैव टू प्रूव दैट एंगल सी ए डी एंड एंगल सी बी डी आर इक्वल सो दिस एंगल हेयर सी ए डी एंड दिस एंगल सी बी डी वी हैव टू शो दैट दीज टू एंगल्स आर इक्वल नाउ वन एजम्पन दैट आई हैव मेड इन ड्रॉइंग दिस फिगर इज दैट बी एंड डी द राइट एंगल्ड वर्टिस दे लाइ ऑन द सेम साइड ऑफ द हाईपोटन्यूज ए सी सो बोथ B and D lie on this top side of AC, but actually this is not given to us in the problem. In the problem statement, it is not mentioned that the right-angled vertices lie on the same side of the hypotenuse. So we will actually also have to consider the other case where B and D lie on opposite sides of AC. So this means that right now in this figure we are considering only one of two possible cases. and that case is that b and d are on the same side of ac okay now let's prove that these two angles um cad and cbd they will be equal for this case now to do, prove that these two angles are equal all we need to do is we need to show that ab dc is a cyclic quadrilateral because then these two angles will be angles subtended by the same arc um of the circle that passes through the four vertices so that is what we will prove that uh, ab dc is cyclic and to do that we need to note simply that the hypotenuse ac subtends the same angle on b and d both of these angles are 90 degrees ac subtends the same angle on both b and d so let's write this so ac the hypotenuse it subtends the same angle on both b and d and what is that angle that's 90 degrees so both angles are equal to 90 degree and this means that a b d c are four concyclic points a b d c are concyclic points they lie on a circle and the result i'm using here basically is that if a segment subtends equal angles at two points on the same side of that segment then the four points are concyclic they lie on a circle so ab dc should be concyclic um which means that ab dc is a, a cyclic quadrilateral and now if you observe uh, the angles at a and b these angles uh c a d and c b d they are subtended by the same arc d c this arc subtends angle c a d and c b d and so let's write this so c d arc c d subtends angle c a d and angle c b d at the circumference and this means that these two angles are equal so angle cad is equal to angle cbd because they are subtended by the same arc so that proves one case when b and d are on the same side of ac now let's show that cad and cbd will be equal even if b and d are on the opposite sides of ac so here's a figure that i've drawn for case 2 and you can see that b and d the right angled vertices are on opposite sides of the hypotenuse ac and i have again joined b and d and this time we have to show that angle cad this angle is equal to angle cbd this angle so once again if we show that abcd is cyclic then this this equality of angles will follow okay so this is case 2 that we are now talking about so in case 2 b and d are on opposite sides of 
AC of the hypotenuse AC. So what can how can we show that uh, ABCD is cyclic in this case? Well, all we need to do is we need to consider the fact that this angle ABC is 90 and ADC is 90 and hence the sum of these two angles is 180 degrees. So we have angle ABC plus angle ADC. This sum is 90 plus 90 or 180 and in a quadrilateral if a pair of opposite angles are supplementary then that quadrilateral is cyclic. So here now we can say that ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral and because it is cyclic we can now say that uh, the angle subtended at A by CD this angle and this angle at B these two angles must be equal because ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral the vertices lie on a circle so the angle subtended at A by CD and the angle subtended at B by CD uh, or this arc CD let's highlight this arc this arc subtends angle CAD and angle CBD at the circumference so both these angles must be equal so we have um, CD again subtends angle CAD and angle CBD at the circumference and hence both these angles should be equal so angle CAD will be equal to angle CBD so we have again proven the equality of these two angles in the second case case 2 as well so remember that the key idea in showing the equality of uh, these two angles CAD and CBD was to show in both cases that the quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral but in the first case to show that the quadrilateral was cyclic we may made use of the fact that the hypotenuse subtended the same angle on both the right angled vertices in the second case uh, we use the fact that the opposite angles of the quadrilateral were supplementary so in both cases we showed that the quadrilateral being formed was cyclic and the rest of the reasoning was the same an arc subtending two equal angles at the circumference so this completes question 11 to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.